seven sentences. Just seven sentences. If we were told that for whatever sickness we have, we just need to say seven sentences, which would take a total of just two minutes maximum. Wouldn't all of us try our best to make sure that we take advantage of this great deal? In a lengthy hadith in Sahih Bukhari, a group of companions of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, once went on a journey. They came across a certain tribe on the way, and the companions were quite hungry as they passed that route. So they approached the people, asking them for at least something to eat, to which they were refused and rejected. Now, later on in the day, a snake or a scorpion stung the chief of that tribe. Many of the local experts or doctors, if you like, tried their best to make sure that the chief felt better, but to no avail. They then called upon the small group of people that they knew had come from somewhere. One of the companions from that group, may Allah be pleased with them, volunteered to say that, okay, I will try to help on condition that you give us some wages for what we're about to do. They agreed. This companion then went to the chief and recited these seven sentences and blew on the chief, upon which the chief was released from his pain. And the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, were not only given what they asked for, but were rewarded with even more. When they reached our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and narrated this incident to him, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam smiled and said, How did you know that this was recited? as a ruqya, which basically translates as a treatment for illnesses. Now for those of us wondering what these seven sentences are and where to find them, all we need to do is look in the beginning of our Qur'ans at the first chapter, which consists of seven sentences or seven verses, and that is Suratul Fatiha.